this is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts with the Paper Craft Society Advent Calendar for December the 10th. And this one is again by My Creative Life. And there is a little indication here what's in here <clears throat> because this is a stamp set and it's got like, let me just put some paper underneath. It's got this box that is sort of bursting open the lid is flying away and then it's got all these streamers and it's got stars on it and hearts and a few sentiments wow party time and surprise so i as always already had a little sneak peek and had a little thought what i want to do with this so i would like to design the inside of a card with this because my idea was to have something different on the outside and then this actually is a surprise on the inside. And at first I thought about stamping something here that can sort of appear in the box. I even thought about that might be an idea for you to create an explosion box with this picture on the inside. But I know I will need a few cards I can send in the post in the new year. So I thought I might just as well make a card that will actually... Um, go in the post without too much postage so my idea was to create a separate piece that I put on here like a topper um, so that when the recipient opens the card it sort of um, comes out and it pops up a little bit and I've got an idea how to easily create this so the first thing I'm going to do is and my voice is a bit hoarse today so first thing you need to do when you get new stamps, you need to prep these. You can either stamp them off first or you just rub them against your skin because they are likely to have some residue on them from the production, especially the silicon stamps. So, but I will do a try run in stamping anyway. So I want to use the box and most of the streamers and I think I will um, stamp the streamers in different colour colours rather than colouring them in and I might even leave the box wide I'll have a think about that so I'm going to do this off camera I don't think you need to see me stamp so I will definitely stamp the big elements on my stamping platform and I think with the smaller ones I just come in with my acrylic block um, because then I can vary them where I put them round. And I will be creating, I think, just a 6 by 4 card. So I'll keep it small, but I'm um, stamping on a separate piece um, just in case I do want to colour it in so it doesn't go on the back of the main card. And yeah, I've already got an idea what I'm going to stamp here as the element. Um, but I'm going to surprise you with that as well. So I'll do a bit of stamping off camera now and then I come back and show you what I have created. So as I said, I have crafted a bit off camera. First of all, I have stamped the streamers here and the box. I made sure the lid is high enough here so that when I put my topper on here, the lid is not too low. Um, I stamped this little sheep here with the balloon and the party hat because I thought that would match the theme and I have cut it out from a medium weight cardstock I think this is a 270 you want a bit of you know solid cardstock but not too um, thick so you can't cut it out the other thing I've done though is I've shown that in another video I've just gone round with my blue ink blending brush just to basically it hides a little bit the uh, fussy cutting as well i didn't fussy cut too close because i'm not very good at fussy cutting and i don't enjoy it so originally my plan was to leave the uh, pictures black and white and i stamped all the streamers in my different versafine clear colors but then i thought it looked a bit too bland so i actually have colored them in with my pencils and i've also created a topper for the front of the card this is from the same stamp set if it is available and i can find it i'm going to link to it below it says heard you had a birthday and you've got the laughing sheep here and with them i only colored in the ears and the tongues i think that's enough so i've also cut myself a card base um this is a six by four 
So I've just cut cut that from a um, four card from a four card sheet, cut that in half, and then cut the width accordingly. And I've cut a matte layer for the front. At first, I thought I use a topper like this, but it does look a bit boring. So I found this paper pad in my stash. Uh, I'm quite sure this is still available. I'm going to link to that below. It's got loads of patterned pieces, but it also got some themes here that are very good for mail cards, like beer bottles, uh, t-shirts, got some sports. So, um, is that the one with the sports? Oh no, it isn't, but it's got cars there, watches. So um, that's quite handy. I also found this one here in my stash, which is lovely for party theme cards but at that point i'd already colored these in and these are more like pastel colors so i didn't want to use them for this card but if you've got something like this um just color these in accordingly and then they will match nicely as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to quickly glue all these down i'm doing this off camera again i'm going to glue this on the inside and then i'll show you how we create the pop-up bit from just two strips of cardstock. This popper mechanism is really, really easy to make. So I've got two strips here. They should be the same width, but it was a bit tricky to cut. You don't need them this long. I just happen to have this on my desk. So ideally you've got them the same width. And all you need to do is pop a bit of either quick wrap glue, or you could use some um, tape here and just stick these together like this at an angle in the right angle I should say so press them together so they are definitely um, adhered properly and then what you need to do is you need to fold these over so fold this over there that over there and basically one over the other I'm using I think this is a 230 GSM so you want it thin enough to fold nicely but thick enough to hold a bit of weight and what you create is this sort of popper so it's up to you how much bulk you want to your card and how much you want this to pop I think I'm happy with just the four of these so I'm going to just cut these off here now and I'm just popping some glue here on the last bit and I'm just drying this for a moment in my finger fingers I should say when this has dried I can just pop some glue on here and stick it onto the sheep down pressing it down making sure it's adhered properly because it's quick grab glue it does work quite quickly but the last thing you want is for it to shift and then you can put some glue on this bit here and I can glue this down where I want it which is sort of the foot I think half still in the box so just pressing it down here and that's all there is to it so yeah it's got quite a bit of bulk there um might have second thoughts about sending this in the post but when the recipient opens it basically pops out a little bit if you wanted to you could put less bulk in it but I like the fact that it does pop out a little bit and you see yeah and I think that's a good use of the stamp set today I think this is quite good I enjoyed that and I'm glad I found in my stash some stamp matching stamps that I have admittedly never used before I bought them about two years ago so yeah I think that makes a lovely card yeah if you think so too you might want to give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see what I'm creating with the rest of the advent calendar, you might want to subscribe to my channel. 
I'd be very happy about that. And I'll see you soon with another video.